Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, we're doing a uh, marching snare update on the uh, second project here. Um, you guys saw we got the first one done a couple weeks ago, so I've been working on this one. Um, everything's ready to go now. Uh, I'll be putting it together this evening. Um, kind of talk about pretty much basically did uh, all the same stuff uh, that we did that I did on that one. I did to this one. Um, the uh, throw off we cleaned um, as good as I could. This something I noticed in uh, this drum compared to that one is uh, this one saw a little bit more water. Uh, so there were a couple parts that didn't shine up quite as nice as they did on that one. Um, and then uh, even certain spots on the rings didn't come out very nice, or the the rims. Um, so, other than that, it still cleaned up pretty good. Uh, throw off, uh, you guys seen I did the uh, disassembly video. Um, I didn't do a reassembly video because it's basically just the same thing as the disassembly, uh, just in a reverse order step by step uh, pretty much so um, everything got cleaned up polished uh, new grease on the adjusting bolt um, and then the uh, slide the slide itself on the uh, block all that got uh, new grease down on the uh, sides there so all that Slides really well, locks into place really well. Um, cleaned up everything really good, so that's ready. The uh, strainer, same thing. Um, new grease on the adjusting bolt. And then um, just kind of cleaned and polished everything as good as possible. Um, like I said, th this one's seen a little bit more time being wet. So uh, some of the stuff didn't shine up quite as nice as the other one, but still pretty pretty shiny. It's going to look great after it's all together. Uh, tension rods are all done. Um, cleaned. Some of them do have uh, some scratching on them, but that's that's a given. Especially uh, older drums, they get, they've get uh, they had a lot of wear and tear on them. Um, but overall, these cleaned up really well, top and bottom. Um, everything shined up really nice. I don't think I'll get that to focus, but... Uh, snares are ready to go. Cleaned up the uh, the uh, plates on those, and uh, all the snares are in really good shape. Um, no, none of them are, are bent or frayed, so those are good to go. The uh, support feet we shined up, polished, got those ready to go. Um, all the lugs got cleaned up. All those are ready to roll, and then the uh, keepers got clean. Every, everything got cleaned up really nice, just like on the other one. And then um, the uh, the case and the wrap are all cleaned up and ready to go. And uh, interesting, even though uh, this one saw more time in the water, there was no water damage to the uh, wood at all. And uh, the case, or the uh, the wrap itself, is actually um, in a better condition on this one than it was uh, that one over there. That one's got a lot more uh, nicks and uh, scratches in it than this one did, so that was kind of interesting. Uh, tag's in really good shape. Cleaned up really nice. Um, shine that up pretty good. Got all the fingerprints off of it, got any uh, stains that was on it off of there the best I could. Um, just kind of dusted the inside, the inside of the case. It's pretty pretty good condition. No uh, staining from water or anything like that, no discoloration, so that's really good. So yeah, that's uh, what I'll be working on tonight is getting that back together. Um, the rims over here. They all uh, did a uh, same thing as I did on that one. I uh, polished them two two rounds of polishing on these, and uh, they came out really nice. So those will look really sharp. And these actually were more uh, fogged than the ones on that one, just because it did see more time in the water. The top 
rim definitely has some areas where you can see some some water damage that I couldn't polish out um, but that's okay overall it's super nice and um, like I said when I was doing that one I'm okay with you know, it's it's not going to be 100% perfect because it is an older drum. I'm not uh, replacing the old parts with brand hammer new parts. I'm just uh, trying to revive the old parts the best I can. So um, you're going to get that uh, level of usage that you can see. Um, I've been working on tuning this one up. Uh, it's tuned up really well. Really love the sound of this with the, uh, the new heads on it. The... Uh, like I said, the top heads are the Black Max Remo, and then the uh, the bottoms are the uh, the Clear Ambassadors. Got a bunch of new heads ready to go for some other projects. Um, other projects. This one is uh, going to be parted out. Um, it's got Yamaha heads, top and bottom. And these actually have a really nice sound to them, so I'll I'll probably use those on something. Um, but yeah, this this one's going to get parts out and it's actually going to get a, a white wrapped case. Uh, it's going to be faded because it's an older white, kind of like this, kind of like, turns out to like a cream. Um, like uh, these ones were in good enough shape. There's a little bit of sun damage to them, but not much. Uh, this one and especially that one have a lot of sun damage. Um, so, and then uh, that's an older one that doesn't say pearl on it either. And then this uh, black wrap doesn't say pearl on it either, just the uh, tag, so it's a little bit older. And then I got some cool stuff in here. Um, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna wind up doing is uh, this one and this one are going to get uh, carrier plates uh, mounted to the back, and it's actually gonna be uh, the original ones that it came with. They just bolt right on, and then I have a uh, piece upstairs that just uh, loops into that. And it's from a carrier. So I'm going to have these two with carriers and then the uh, other two that I'm going to be working on, I'm going to do slings to kind of have both versions because I do, I do like the older way as well. So I uh, ended up getting a couple slings here. And these aren't uh, pearl swings, I couldn't, or slings, I couldn't find any pearl ones, but uh, Ludwig makes pretty good stuff. I know they make a lot of drums and stuff and these are uh, Just as good as anything else that you can get they got the uh, the two hooks on each side for your wrap around there uh, Fully adjust uh, fully adjustable has a nice hook on there. So I got two of those and then I also have um, the clip plates for those as well these little little guys um, Pretty much they just go on just right there and then you can clip your clip to there and to really get um, legit with it I got uh, two new leg braces both of these are exactly the same um, another one down there and these are super super nice brand new not a used part And these are really, really nice. I test fitted one of them just on a, uh, a drum to have some fun and kind of get the feel for that type because I'm used to the carriers, I'm not used to this. Um, they are a pearl part. They say pearl on it really nice right there. Um, they have a uh, foldable leg support here with a really, really nice cushion. Real soft. Feels pretty comfortable too. And they have these this keyway here where that pin locks into once it's down in place and then the uh, spring to hold that so then once you slide it out locks in place and then you don't have to worry about it moving around and then you just compress the spring release that pin and then it folds back up they uh, bolt right on to the uh, tension rods just like uh, the uh, carrier plates do so super Super simple stuff there. Really nice parts. Well made, everything's pretty heavy duty, nice and shiny, new. So those will be pretty cool. Um, it'll be pretty fun having both both styles of carrier and uh, sling with the uh, leg support. 
So that'll be really, really cool once I get those projects going. Um, once I get this one put together, I'm going to tune it up, and I'm still kind of working on the tuning on that one. Um, it's really close to what I want it. Um, uh, as of right now, it sounds pretty good, but I just want to get a little, little bit more a little bit more sharpness out of it. So um, That one with the uh, Yamaha heads actually sounds really really good, but like I said, we're gonna We're gonna completely part that one out um, Save whatever I can which is basically gonna be everything everything's in pretty good condition a couple of the Tension rods on it are really scraped up. So I'm probably gonna not use the really scraped up ones um, I have some other ones laying over there that are in okay condition um, but yeah so that's kind of kind of what have we got going on we'll get this one put together um, get them both tuned equally and um, get the carrier plates back on them I'm gonna get some nice pictures of them before I put the carrier plates back on them uh, just that way I got some nice uh, solo photos of them with no add-ons and then um, you can see I got my stand my snare stand down here so I can kind of voice things a little bit easier um, down here and then um, my practice pad that I built is uh, upstairs right now I'll be rebuilding that and I'm probably going to use one of these older pearl heads with the uh, sound focus circle on it um, so it'll look pretty cool because I uh, basically my my um, practice pad I built is the uh, top end of one of these drums. Um, I ended up uh, taking these off, um, replacing them here, no tension rods anymore, and basically just using this whole part of the drum as my uh, practice pad. So it's still a high tension, it's basically a snare, just without the snares. Uh, sound quality is really good, but yeah, I think I'm going to mess around with using one of these, and that'll be kind of cool looking too, because it'll, you know, It'll be uh, completely see-through and uh, look real lightweight. Even though these are kind of beat up, it'll still be pretty cool. Either that or I might use one of the Yamaha heads because these heads actually sound really good. So um, still something that I'm kind of going back and forth on whether to use one of the old pearl heads or use uh, one of the Yamaha heads. So we'll we'll see when I get there what I kind of feel like doing. But that's pretty much it for the, uh, for the update there. Um, not too much going on. Just about to wrap this one up, so that'll be that'll be fun. Cause then I can uh, start taking apart those two, and um, there's gonna be a lot of parts swapping going on. And then um, all the parts that I have over there from that one, everything's gonna get swapped around and um, uh, try and change a few things and work on a few things and do some more rebuilds uh, on these bad boys. So that's uh, that's it, guys. So hopefully. Um, Hopefully the music people enjoyed the updates here. Um, and yeah, so till uh, next time everybody, take care.